Uh, one in each one. Okay. Well, folks, we're going to do some meat. We separate it out. We're going to buy it and we separate it out. And get it out as we need it. This is the hand. Now, this is fresh slice deli ham. We'll get it. Del Rey's, Mexican grocery store we like to go to down there. And much of the meat you will see came from there. Those hot dogs right there, they came from save a lot. If it's fresh meat, it comes from? If it's fresh, it comes from Del Rey's. If it's frozen or packaged, it came from save a lot. That's right. Yes, we separate our hot dog shell. Uh, we don't do it about four at a time. Are you preaching? That's all it takes. This is how we do it. Y'all wondering what I'm doing? I am sealing the bags that I put. Seal one in, not the other, so we can get them in there. That doesn't exactly work out right, but we will work with it. Yeah. We both get in here and do it. It's done a lot quicker. I was going to go out there and turn on the carport light and work on, begin to work on cleaning up that van. As y'all can see, I ain't made it there. She's had more sleep than I have. Yes. So she's a little more ready to go. point where I'm starting to get tired. But we will do this to knock it out. And get it done. And while I was out there, I had a topic on my mind. I don't know if I'll go into it now or not. I may. I should sit on the line. Usually if it's been on my mind, I should talk about it. It's about condemnation. We're not supposed to condemn folks. Anybody. Now there's a lot of people out there, they do a lot of heinous things for one reason or another. It's bad, it's tragic, it's frustrating, it's angering. We get mad. But what are we supposed to do as Christians? Yeah. No matter who it is, what it is, we're supposed to forgive. Them. And we are not supposed to condemn. There's only one who can condemn. That's God. He's the only one that can make that judgment. We do it all the time. Mm -hmm. And we're not supposed to. That falls under the 
how can God forgive us if we do not forgive others? You, know, you go to church and sing Amazing Grace, you can turn around and want blood for what somebody has done. You need to quit singing Amazing Grace. Because the man who wrote that song was at one time one of the worst you'd ever come across. Murder, rape, child molestation, violently raped women and children and killed men. Tossed them over bound over toward the ground. They all shackled up. They can't swim. Even if they knew how, they'd have a really hard time trying to swim out in the middle of the ocean. They ain't nowhere to go no how, so they eventually going to run out of steam. And uh, chances of being come across them days is far less likely than it is today. But he was bad. He wrote one of the most beloved Christian songs today. So if you sang it, but you can turn around in the same breath and want the blood of somebody who's done something extremely bad, you need to quit singing that song. The reason he wrote it was because there's a bad storm happened. And uh, they're all going to die. Seems like it. Anyway. And uh, all those that have been enslaved on that ship got loose. I guess that'd be every man for himself type situation. They was coming after him. He cried out to God. Sparing. God did. Man wrote Amazing Grace. That's the problem with human nature. Mind you, human nature is the very thing that we're supposed to be fighting because that's the flesh. Now don't get me wrong. Somebody does something to harm another. They should be taken before the justice system, and they should be tried. And if they are indeed guilty, convicted, and serve whatever sentence is given them. But judging them and condemning them is not our God. That's up to the justice system, such as it is today. I believe somebody does something wrong, I fully believe they should be held accountable for it and pay the price for it. But it's not on us to condemn them for whatever they have done. You gotta have somebody come to your church. Oh, they was a drug dealer, big time. He's come to God. Oh, bless his heart, he had a hard time. Yeah, he did. Got bad way, bad situation. Might not have much choice about what he got into. A lot of people are willing to forgive and them and give them a second chance. No questions asked. What if you get somebody that was convicted of child molestation? Ain't nobody too quick to want to forgive them, give them a second chance, help them out. Why? 
brothers and daughters from child molestation. Well, God said there is no sin greater than any other sin. You will also find in the Bible that it says that there is nothing in this world that any man is immune from, or woman for that matter. But the situation is right. How did it come to be? You know, a lot of those folks went through a lot of messed up stuff too when they were coming up and the cycle did not get broken and they continued that behavior as an adult. Still, no sin is greater than any other sin and no man is exempt from any sin you can imagine. None. A lot of people say, well, I wouldn't do this and I wouldn't do that. Really? Have you mocked, walked a mile in that person's shoes? No? Then how can you say you wouldn't? No man is exempt. No one is exempt from any sin. No matter what you say. You know, you face in combat, you talking crap, I'll do this, I'll do that. You don't know. Same kind of thing. So, the Bible says we're all capable of doing the most heinous things. The Bible says we're not to condemn, we are to forgive. So why are we condemning and not forgiving when we claim to love God and, and want His forgiveness. Should people who do that be held accountable? Of course. Should they pay the cost? Of course. Should we clamor for their blood? No. We're supposed to forgive them ask God to save them. And that is it. You know, I all the time and put in mind of Rome the things I see in here no different than the gladiator days throwing innocent people to the lions for sport for entertainment for the citizens you get on the wrong side of the law then you become lion food in an arena while being watched be tore apart. And that's what I see in a lot of people today while they turn around and thank God for their blessings. You better check yourself. You might run out of those blessings. You keep wanting the blood of those who have done something wrong. That could have been you. Mm -hmm. The only thing that saved you from being that person is by the grace of God. Because you could just as easily have fell into some kind of trap that Satan had for you. Or some kind of training that God had for you. That would cause you to go through those things. I'm going to set these over here. Okay. So, why are we so quick to condemn when we're supposed to forgive so that God will forgive us? Yeah, it make you angry. But anger is something else we're supposed to fight too. Like Jesus said, be ye angry, but sin not. Well, you get angry and you start clamoring for somebody's blood because you've condemned them for what they've done. It's only by the grace of God that you are in their shoes. And then you beg God for His forgiveness. But you ain't willing to forgive others for the bad things they've done. And remember, going back to no sin greater than another, you tell that little white lie, you just as bad as that child molester. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I went there. You dang skippy, I went there. Because to God, there ain't no difference between the two. They're both sin. Next time you want somebody's blood, think about God sacrificing His Son's blood for your salvation. Because Jesus went through every temptation that you can think of. And got past it. Was able to avoid it. That's why he was the perfect sacrifice. But yeah, I went there. Whenever you sin against God, you might as well be that drug dealer, murderer, or child molester, or whatever other type of criminal you can name in God's eyes that you're going to condemn someone for something they've done which by the way is yet another sin against God because you're not doing what his word told you to do and that was to forgive that person you're supposed to be angry but sin not you start clamoring for somebody's blood, you just as guilty. So, folks, I think I'm going to call it on that. I know that's harsh, but it's truth. Think about it. Piggy loves you.